<laughs> I have a little surprise for all of you guys. Guess what? I'm here with Liana Warner Gray, Earth Diet, here with Noah from Noah's Rock and Raw Chocolates. Woo! Chocolates! And Sal from I am the online designer for the Earth Diet. How exciting is this? We got a little party going on in the middle of New York City. <laughs> Woo! So I wanted um uh, just before the guys head out, I wanted them to tell you a little bit about what they do because uh, I think it's pretty cool and I think you would like to know too. Okay, so yeah, I forgot to tell you the point of what I'm doing today. I'm coming to the city, to New York, to meet uh, Liana Warner Gray. She is the, um, the founder of the Earth Diet. She's also an actress. Uh, she's written books. Um, she's an entrepreneur. She's awesome. And I'm getting a chance to meet her for the first time. So I'm really excited and I also decided to just take this day, especially because I'm getting ready to make a big trip, big adventure, uh, take the day to just kind of explore. And yeah. so beautiful out today. <laughs> Stunning. We're talking um, natural skincare. And We're sharing beauty tips, natural beauty tips. We are. So, so I've been making chocolate since uh, I was a little kid with my mom, and I just realized how uh, important it was to be aware of what you're intaking. And I was eating a lot of Reese's peanut butter cups and Kit Kats, and really, uh, it was taking a toll on my body and my energy. And I started getting into raw food, and most specifically, the most exciting part of that is raw desserts. So I started making a few raw desserts with friends, and then I made raw chocolate. I just showed up at the uh, Chelsea Market randomly, and I'm going to check out some of the amazing food that they have here. I'm really excited about it. Cups. I make the Earth Diet peanut butter cups now, and for uh, some time now I've been in Manhattan and I started my business and it's selling at Westerly and Uptown Whole Foods and uh, when we met uh, it was just obvious that I was supposed to make the Earth Diet chocolate. So, yeah. He's the best guy for the job. Yeah, thank yeah. You. His chocolate is incredible and he gets the whole philosophy of using Earth's most natural ingredients to make delicious chocolates. Oh wow, yeah. you couldn't get better. Yeah. Um, so, in case anybody wants to buy them online, you can get them at your website? Yeah, is that right? com, or you can get them from Noah's website. Yeah, we are both on Facebook, because uh, Noah's Rockin' Raw Chocolates, R-O-C-K-N-R-A-W Chocolates. That is chocolate that you can feel good about eating. So, Sal, before you go, too, you gotta tell us a little bit about the Earth Diet and what you do. I was saying, um, I've been spending a lot of time researching how stress plays into being able to lose weight or be healthy and it's funny because you could really be eating all the healthiest foods in the world and working out really really hard and not seeing the results that you should be if your stress level is too high and being here in around all types of people so much stuff going on constantly it's like for the your stress level can't not be to be in such like a intense place, I think you either need to have some kind of way to go back to nature or go to somewhere really chill um, and have a real like maybe you meditation practice or yoga practice. I think that, that might be why people in the city are so into yoga because uh, it's a way to just calm the stress level. But if you don't have a way to release that stress um, and you live in a really crazy, stressful, busy place like a city, um, you might want to pay attention to that for your health. You might want to like try and find some outlet for it. You can actually find, Liana's just telling me, uh, in her upcoming book she's going to have some skincare recipes, right? Yes, including mascara and face cleanser. Yeah. And I was wondering the other day about using beet juice to kind of make like a lip stain mm. lip gloss. I'd have to test it out before I use it for like an event or something, right? Imagine yeah, it like yeah. changes color or something. <laughs> or gets on your teeth. Yeah. One of my favorites is just honey. Uh, we were just talking about the honey face mask, yeah. which I'll have a video on soon. Um, but if you just put the raw local honey uh, on your lips, it's sticky like lip gloss. 
and it also is really sweet and uh, people like to kiss you when you have honey uh, on your lips. That's cool. So maybe we could mix some honey with some beet and then make like yes. a, a Oh, stained flip gloss. Well, let's try that. That's cool. the new, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. And if share. you try it, let us know. Yeah, share your photos if you do try it. Yeah. Do you have a hashtag that you use for your pictures and stuff? The Earth Diet. Hashtag Earth Diet. <laughs> yeah. And then hashtag Fit and Fearless, too. All right, we're back to our walk. We'll get back to you soon. Looks like we're getting to the end of everything right now, but it's decorated pretty cute too, so I'll show you some Halloween stuff. All right, so I'm at Liana about Liana Warner Gray, that is. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. <laughs> a little over a year ago, and we became friends, and she inspired me to start living a healthier lifestyle. And since then, I've been living it, and had the pleasure of joining the team as a designer. And among other things, I get to create infographics um, and do the social media. So, what exactly are infographics for somebody who wouldn't know? Okay, so let's say it's a benefit of a certain food, or a certain body part, which foods you should focus on, or just inspiration, just in an image, just uh, designed in a way that is nice to look at. And For example, the best one that I think Sal has done yeah. is the foods for your heart. So Sal created an image that had an image of our heart, the organ inside, and then had all the foods that we should eat that give good heart health. And it was a very vibrant post and it got over a thousand shares on Facebook. Oh wow. And yeah, a lot of people appreciate that because I know heart disease is one of the biggest killers here in America. So that was a really powerful post that he created. Yeah, it's just yeah. a pleasure to be able to spread the message. Yes. Uh, just in general teaching people that they don't have to give up the foods they love to uh, become healthier. So. Yeah, and I think that's one of those things that, you know, it, we love because you can go maybe on Pinterest or something and you can pin it to a board and then you kind of forget why you're eating something you can go back to it and be like oh yeah this is good for this this and this and then it inspires you to eat that food more often too so that's really cool now everybody knows you guys all know uh, a little bit of the earth diet and uh, everybody well not everybody but a few people who work there so it's kind of cool a little bonus you didn't expect to get that <laughs> so I'm turning the camera off this is gonna be real life now we'll see you in a little bit Bye. <laughs> this is my new theory that you can uh, you can eat all the healthy food in the world or do tons and tons of fitness but if you don't do things for yourself like actually get out and explore um, you might be missing the potentially healthiest thing that you could be doing because your stress hormones go down when you're able to get out and just have a day of relaxation I don't mean like Plan a vacation where every minute is planned out to the T, and you gotta, you know, be following some sort of schedule. Like that's stressful. I mean, one where you can just go do whatever you want for the day and let uh, let yourself go towards whatever looks cool. So, so much for going to a bunch of different places and trying their food because I found one lucky duck and it's raw vegan. I love it. <laughs> Here we go. Got it. Forget the name of it. Oh, it's Spank. And it had uh, blueberry, banana, vanilla, cashew milk, which is so good. Cinnamon, it's the first time I'm having cashew milk. I come in love. And, um,. I think that was it. Oh, coconut. It's really good. It's like hearty. And I'm having this as my lunch dinner kind of thing. I'll be meeting up with my friends in a little bit. But um, until we have dinner, it's probably going to be around 7.30. This is hopefully going to hold me over. I'm going to go find maybe a Starbucks to charge my phone. My phone died, of course. My phone has a terrible battery. But it's kind of fun just finding a little cozy spot to hang out and have a smoothie. and. Uh, after walking around a lot today, it was kind of nice.